All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up breakout rooms without an extension. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is if you want control over the meets, basically uh, you want to be uh, the first person in there and the kids can't get in until you're in the meet. Uh, and also if you're the last person and kids can't rejoin, the other option is that, well, kids can join whenever they want, all right? You don't have to manage that piece. All right, so on this first option here, you're going to, I have these four doors here and I'm just going to hyperlink um, the first two to show you what this looks like. So if I click on the door and I press Control K for hyperlink or come up here to the chain links, I'm going to use the URL meet.google.com slash lookup slash uh, whatever you want this to be. So I might call this Mr. K room one. Okay, I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to come to door two. I'm going to call that meet.google.com slash lookup. Uh, Mr. K, room two. All right, and these dom th this is unique to your domain, so um, be fairly creative, but you, you don't have to worry about someone else across the country using the same URLs. And then just follow suit for room three and room four. So if I copy this link to my clipboard, I have a student account open here. I'm going to try and access that meet room. All right, it says I can't do that, All right? So now let me jump back and I'll jump into this link as a teacher. All right, let me jump back there just to make sure. All right, it hasn't started yet. I'm getting this error, but now as a teacher, let me join this meeting. All right, so now I'm the teacher and I'm in this. Let me jump back into student view. All right, and now I can join, all right? So as long as you're the first one in there, you can kind of control when kids are in there or not. Uh, if I leave, all right, and the student leaves, all right, they're not gonna be able to get back in there. The other option is to simply head on over to meet.google.com and join a meeting or start a meeting. Don't put a nickname here. You don't wanna do that, just hit continue. All right, copy this URL and paste it to room one. Rinse and repeat for rooms two, three, and four. And if you do it that way, kids won't be able to access the, or sorry, they will be able to access the meet and you don't have to be there. All right, some other things here. I do have these little icons on the side. You can drag them if you have specifics for like, hey, if you're in room two, you should only be using your microphone, but not your camera. You can just drag those over there to kind of, tell kids what they should be doing if they're in those rooms. Uh, be specific, give them a specific task, but also also um, identify a return time when they should come back to the classroom Google Meet, all right?